Hello there and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to get to the ActiveIQ API Services module. Yet another cool feature of ActiveIQ. This one is for people who want to use code to pull data programmatically from ActiveIQ. Let's jump in. So the first thing you're going to do is log in to ActiveIQ Digital Advisor and on the header you're going to click on Quick Links and on the right hand side API Services. This is going to take you to the ActiveIQ API Services landing page, which looks like this. Now, if you're already registered, it'll look like this screen where it says Registered, and then you can start using tokens. Even before registering, you can view the user guide or browse through the catalog. But if you want to be able to code or to try it out in the browser, you'll need to register so you can generate tokens. And when you come in and you're not registered, it's pretty simple it'll look a little bit like this where you'll come in and there'll be a register button here instead of what you just saw on the screen you'll click register you'll answer a couple of quick questions and then you'll click submit and voila you'll be registered about that fast once you're registered again you can generate tokens and you can pull those in a variety of ways tokens come in uh, typically in sets of access token and refresh token but you can use just the access token to try it out by downloading or copying it or viewing it as plain text. Look at that lovely beast there. And then once you do that and you go into the catalog, you'll notice that on the left hand pane there is a tree here that you can expand and collapse and you can browse through all of the services and inside each service the individual endpoints that you'll use either again in your code or to try it out here on the screen. When you click on an endpoint it'll bring up that endpoint on the middle pane here on your screen. The code view which this toggle to the left is the code view you'll see five different languages up here five or six different languages up here and those languages will give you sample code in that language on the right hand side for each endpoint that you're viewing in the middle you'll see the input parameters, the output parameters, the sample responses over here on the right, everything you need to dive into these endpoints to learn them and then to integrate them into your own code. If you want to try it out just to see how things work, you click the slider here to the experiment view and whatever API you're interested in, you can expand it, click on the try it out. You'll need to fill out these boxes here including one of those authorization tokens which will be an access token here and then you'll click execute and your results will be right there on the screen. So that's all we have today for your quick tutorial on ActiveIQ API services. Thanks for watching.